Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up the final battle in Hello Mod Kit. So, I know I already did a video on doing this, but I'm going to do I'm going to do another video cuz the last one was kind of confusing. So, let's get on into it. So, first, you want to click in your content browser, you know, click on final battle. First, you want to drag in your BP underscore big neighbor, which you have right here. So, once you've done that, you're going to need uh it's gonna like when you click on this it's gonna ask you for a door so i'm pretty sure the right door is bp underscore exit scene okay no right. here it is so you want to place that in which i already did for sure it's glitched out you click on this and then you set it to that so that's it for that Let's do the firework and candles. So once you go back to your final battle, you want to drag in this in BP underscore big firework. So my suggestion is if you put the scale to 3.5 for X, Y, and Z, so that's no, not 3.5. I mean, sorry, 3.35. So, you want to make it smaller so the candle will actually reach it. And then, you want to, this where it says big neighbor, you set that to your big neighbor. And then, once I press play, you grab one of these candles and then you put it up against this. It's, yeah. So, next, we're going to do the Coca Mentos. So, in your final battle, you want to get BP underscore soda bottle, which is right here. Then you might want to grab Mentos, or if you want, you can have more than just one. But I'm going to use just one. And then, of course, you might want to add, like, platforms and stuff to get up to it. Make sure you put Big, P uh, Big Neighbor right here. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not going to make platforms, which I suggest you do. You just, I'm just going to go for it. So you just go do it, you place it into it, and then this happens. So, yeah. Next, let's do the crossbow and the arrow. So, once you're in your final, again, in your final battle, you get your BP underscore big bow. Then you mount it. You can put, of course, you can put the step wherever you want it. I'm just putting it in random places. So, once you grab that, and you also need BP underscore big arrow. I'll put the big arrow scale to 9 for X, Y, and Z. Big. Yeah, you want to resize the arrow and move it. Because it's not going to like go. It's not going to automatically put itself where you want it. So. And then make sure on the arrow. The, the arrow. Uh, big neighbor set to here in default. And once you click on this. where In the default for the crossbow. That you set the arrow to your arrow, and then the big neighbor thing. And also, you're gonna need a candle for this as well. So, you have your candle. You go over to your crossbow. You light it up. Or you do the thing. Here we go. And then, yeah, that. So. The last thing for this video, I'm going to show you how to do the tennis ball launcher, which it's kind of weird, but <laughs> so once you, you're going to have to place your BP underscore big gun. So if you use this, which will be right here, uh, this is my scale, by the way, for the wall, it's a hundred for each. I, so you, for this, for the scale. I have it set to 40, 40, and 40. But when you do that, it's going to be very weird. So you see this box right here? It's going to normally be, it's going to be like right down here. You want to move it up more. Because for some reason, the ball doesn't go into, it doesn't go into it. It goes, it like has a barrier. So you just do that. And then the start, you want to place it, this is pretty much almost like around the same height as this box right here. And then... Make sure this is set to 
the Bay Neighbor set here. And then you want to grab your gun balls right here. And then in the default for it, you have to set it to Bay Neighbor. And once I press play, <gasps> go up to it. By the way, the tennis ball launcher and the umbrella elevator, I already did that. And also the thing we have to like run from the <laughs> thing. I'm going to make another video on the actual like the battle for the thing. So it's actually fun. <sighs> so I'm not just making up stuff. But yeah, I'm just making a less busy video of the first one. <gasps> and yeah, this is very weird. So it, you have to switch sides too. <laughs> and it supposedly hits the neighbor, but I think you can change the power of this. I might be wrong. I don't know, it's weird, but it still works. So once you've done that and you set up your toaster launcher and stuff, you should be able to recreate the thing. And then I also made a video how to change to the level teleporters. So that'll be pretty much it for this video. If you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Peace.